Dennis Witten from the Lowell Sun here with our Lowell City Tournament preview video. I'm with Gene Manley, the head pro at Long Meadow Golf Club, which this year, the 90th Cities, is the site of the final round. It should be a beauty. Gino, we're going to go through the home stretch of holes here, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, why don't you set up number seven? What does the player, uh, what does the player have to do on this? The hole? seven's a number one stroke hole. It's called Steeple Bend. It's the 555 yard pop five. It's a real demanding hole with a lone bunker near the green and has a double tiered green. Uh, the players will be laying up in their second shot unless you're a super long hitter. They can reach it in two, and uh, it plays uh, very, very difficult. And it, it's a place where you can make up strokes in the, the final round of the cities. It's the home stretch beginning and uh, a very demanding hole and people will enjoy watching it. Now the key is OB on the right OB, side. OB, completely he, 555 you, yards of OB, Dennis. You fade the ball. You're, yeah. uh, so a lot of the long hitters will actually favor going towards towards 8 fairway, just especially where, if they have a lead. And there's a water hazard there's over there. There's a water hazard there in, in trees, so, but they, uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll be, if, they've, if you have the lead, you will not be hitting down the right side because you don't want to hit it out of bounds so here, that's for you, sure. Do you fade the ball off this tee? I used uh, to aim at the left side, I used to fade it, and if it went yeah. straight, I was okay, and if it went, if faded, it was in really good shape. But uh, I protected here. I, didn't, I don't think I ever hit an out of bounds in the cities here, so I was always playing a little wow, skiing. that's good. Yeah. All right, let's go out and take a look at the, the hey, next right. shot. Here in the 16th fairway. Talking about the home stretch, you know we're kind of in between the uh, landing and the approach. This is a three-shot hole, though, uh, uh, for 99 percent. 90 percent of the players will be yeah. hitting the three-shot hole, unless it's downwind. Then the real long hitters can get on it too. But for the most part, it'll be a three-shot hole for sure. So it's it's protection, I guess, is the way you 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 uh, well, just a, termed it. It's just a long hole, yeah. It's just yeah. not a hole you're really thinking about birdieing. But uh, if you get a really good second shot, you can leave yourself with a, a wedge shot where you can attack the pin from. Yeah, that's the key because you, your fairway Oh, well, it's a big, everything big, 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 big slope left to right for sure, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a tricky hole because a lot of balls will end up in the rough either here or down below, so. And your, your green? Uh, the green's is, two tier. The green's pretty simple except for the two tiers. The second right. tier is a, a tough shot. And where will the pin be, do you think? I think probably cities? fair, probably back middle. Won't be really tucked, but it'll be probably back middle. Yeah, back, though. Probably back middle here, yeah. Just uh, in a nice spot. It's a nice spot, putting so, area. But it won't be, I don't think it'll be one of the edges. We want, we want to see some birdies come yeah, in. Yeah, a player wants to make uh, birdie, a pirate worse, and if he makes a bogey, he's in the world. Yeah, he's not, he's not happy with the bogey. He, no. wants, he wants to make a par birdie par and move five. on to on yeah, number eight, where you can make a birdie on number right. eight. Back-to-back -back par fives here. It's it's somewhat of a, a rarity. Yeah, uh, Baltistral has back-to-back -back par fives. 17 and 18 to Baltistral, yep. Stowe Acres, the south course. Right, it's right. so, <laughs> but Baltistral, 17 and 18 are back-to-back par fives. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, let's go on up and look at the, uh, the eighth tee. Sounds good. Okay, we're back with Gene Manley on the eighth slash 17th hole at Long Meadow. Uh, Gino, it's got an interesting name for the hole up there. Yeah, it's called Death of Glory. This is a hole where you can make or break your round. As a matter of fact, one of the great city players of all time, Phil Smith, made a 13 on this hole, but he also come back to make two eagles in the same round the year he won. So. He made 13 in one, one, one hole, and he made six in the other, so that's the uh, the difference in the score in this hole. Well, I know all about making 13s, but uh, eagles are few, few and far between. Uh, what's the approach on the tee shot? It doesn't matter? Well, that, there's a rock out there about 260 down the left-hand side, and uh, the good players will hit it about 25 yards by that. They'll have about 225 to the green. I know Phil, when he made eagle, hit five wood both times, a high cut five wood, so the long hit is will have a chance to knock it on the two, unless the wind's really in their face. But let's tell the people there's a pond in front of the There's green. a big pond You're in front of the green. No, no, it's, it's, it's a day, and the trees are very high along the right side. It's You have to hit a precise second shot to knock it on the green here. It, there's no there's no really bailout area, because if you bail out right, you are gonna you could even lose your ball on the hill with the, the fescue rough there, so. So the tee shot is kind of a free swing, and then the, after that the you free, have The tee make... shot's a free swing, and if you're in trouble, you lay up, and if you hit a good shot, now you gotta, now you got to say, well, do I want to, you know, chip back and lay up, or do I want to go for it? So. Did you ever think maybe uh, moving that rock someday to start throwing people off? Ah, uh, uh, no, the rock is there. It's one of the. It's a. It's out. Of, it's out of the way. Most people. It doesn't go behind there too often, which is not bad. But this is definitely a key hole. For this the is city. the key hole. If you're if you're two shots behind, you still have a chance to catch up. Coming, sure. Coming to. Yep. We call it eight B. Or, <laughs> or you can make a big number. As you can for sure. Yeah. yeah. You know? Okay, well, let's uh, journey up the fairway a little and okay. see what we got. Okay, sounds good. Down uh, near the 
near the pro shot area for the uh, for hole 8B. And, uh, Gene, I would think most of the players are going to be in this area in their third shot. What are they looking at here? Well, I like this a sprinkle head right over here at 96 yards. That was my ending point because I could hit a three quarter sandwich from there, and I think most of the players that's what we'll be doing trying to get to that spot where they can spin the ball and try to keep it close to the pin. The pin will be back left, but it won't be, it won't be too far up. It'll be, it'll be a birdie pin. It'll be it'll left side, but it'll give them a chance to make a birdie. But it will put the water in play. Well, the water's always in play. If you chunk it a little bit, you're in the water for now, this sure. This used to be a little tiny little uh, pond, didn't it? Uh, this is always a big pond. The one in nine was, yeah. Oh, the nine. Matter of fact, Mickey Sullivan, a good friend of yours, yeah. and he was on the Greens Committee. I was the president. We, we put he, we put this pond in, actually. So wow. then we put the green in behind it after the board of directors and the, the club was all behind it, which was very nice. And we were lucky enough to be ahead of the project. Makes it, right? makes it a hell of a hole. Yeah, it's, it changed it completely. Because before, the green was over here with no pond. It was yeah. a very easy par five, but now it's... Yeah. Uh, it's great back back top fives. Now is this a tough green to putt? Yes it is. It has a lot of subtle breaks in it. And you don't see as many putts made on this green as you do one set. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, the back bunker. Back bunker, you don't want to be there because no, 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 no. you don't want to be there. It's it's a top up and down. <laughs> Plus you're looking at the water. So but there'll be shots. Guys who go for the green and two and hit will hit in that back bunker. So nope. if they have a good lie, they'd be alright. But if they're gonna tough lie then they're it's a little dangerous. So uh, with a back left pin, eagles are going to be. Well, you can no, back. you can even. It's, it's actually accessible. It's not actually the hottest pin placement is, is to the right really? to putt. Yeah, the the right pad side is a much hotter place to, especially when you're laying up. It's a much hotter putt. But back left for a good player, the pawn they don't worry about it too much. Yeah. Unless yeah. they're unless you're in the lead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, we've seen our back to back par fives. Let's go to the home hole and. Uh, Sounds good. We'll wrap up the city tournament. Okay, We're here in the home hole of the 90th city tournament. It's a relatively short par four, but it's a it's a gorgeous hole, and it, it can present some difficulty, especially with the pressure that the leaders are going to be facing uh, as they come across it. You know, give us the name of this hole and uh, some tidbits about it. Well, it's called Healy's Drop. It's named after Jack Healy, who is a two-time city champ and a Harvard. Uh, he was a Harvard track star. As a matter of fact, uh, right. Grantland Rice. Went to a pro tournament, Winchester Country Club, and all the top pros were there. And he said, I just found the longest hitter in the world. His name is Jack Healy from Lowell, Massachusetts. Wow. And the gumdrops were put in to prevent Jack from rocking it on the green because it was so burnt out in the old days. That's when those those gumdrops were put in in 1929, 20 years after the club opened. Wow. They're not original to the course. They were put in for, to keep him from driving the green. You only get this stuff from Gene Manley, let me tell you. Uh, does the average player face any problems here at club well, choice, club selection? For sure. The long hit is, if it's downwind, we'll have to worry about hitting near the pond, near the green, believe right. it or not. Yes. I mean, the long hit is can reach the pond near the green. Wow. So you have to be careful. And there's the, bunk, the big bunker on the right-hand side, you really don't want to be there. It's a really tough shot to get out of that bunker close. So a lot of players, the long hit is, they might hit three with layup and then try to get down to get on two for their birdie. That sand on the right gets a lot of play. Oh, that, that the long hit is they live in that bunker, for yeah. sure. They live in that bunker. And the shorties, it's in the first bunker hand, probably. Yep, in the, the, the beauty of the hole is the uh, the view for all the yeah. spectators. That's exactly. the that's the coup de grace of the city. That that thing will the be packed. That it's natural. Created. That's natural. No, that, that's been there since forever. That's, yeah. that's made by made by God, that natural theater. It's not wasn't made by man. But that was always perfect, there. So. Perfect spot. Yep. All right, let's go down and uh, take a look at the putting service. And, Sounds uh, good. We'll talk later. You know, we're here at the finish, the uh, 18th hole in the city tournament. Uh, we've got a nice, beautiful, nice pond here. We've got the gumdrop. We've got these bunkers. We've got this new clubhouse. Very new uh, addition to the clubhouse. The amphitheater. I mean, it couldn't ask for more. No, it's a natural. This is what the modern course does. They built this kind of finishing hole, and uh, it's just been here naturally for a thousand years in the clubhouse has been here since uh, 1909. It's a new clubhouse built in 2006 and we're proud of it. And uh, this will be the gallery will be lined here with the flowers and it's just a fun fun event. It's a social event and a golf event. That's what makes the city so unique. Uh, the players will be coming here with wedges, nine irons. Yep. So they get a real chance to they can get a chance to make birdie for sure. I mean yeah. the if you come up if you make a bogey here, it's gonna devastate you if you come if you're near the lead. It's yeah. just gonna take the starch right out of you. So the leaders will have all putts for birdies. Whether they can make them or not, that's exactly. another story. And just the gumdrops, so you said the Brian, the Jack Haley's Yeah, they were put in in 1929, exactly right. You see a lot of players in, in those? A million, I mean, really? it's, the, the, it's very thick, the rough. So a long driver, 
Well, see that? The ball just disappears. So we just saw it right there now. So if you, a long driver can hit it in there, and then it's very hard to get up and down for sure. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Uh, the last two years of exciting tournaments with Sean Scott and George Pop both making great up and downs with wedges. Yeah. George for a birdie and Sean for a par. So if we can have that drama this year, we'll, we'll long be, meadows turn for the, for be fantastic. Dramatic. Yeah, it's a great feel for this year. It's you know what? There's eight or nine players who can really win this tournament. I feel that there's a lot of good players. Every club has some good players who can win. So right. I think it's going to be a very great. Tournament. Already now is good weather. Well, we knock on wood. Yep, we'll just hope we get it. Thank, Thank you, you guys very, very much. much and good uh, luck next thanks Saturday. Thanks for the little sun for everything they do for the tournament. Final really round Saturday. It. June 20. Now to wrap up, I look at the home stretches of the three courses in the Lowell City Tournament, which this year is celebrating its 90th edition. It's the longest, along with San Francisco, the longest running city tournament in the country. And they're very proud of it, as they should be. So good luck and thank you.